Okay, Assalamualaikum and hello. Welcome to the second episode of our English SPM 2021 uh, format discussion. So this one is a continuation of last episode's uh, discussion, which is about writing email. So for this episode, we try to discuss uh, how to write the full email. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so in the previous episode, we discussed about finding key points by searching for these three things. Okay, uh, point about to who, about what, and what to reply. Okay, and then this one, answer questions on the what to reply part. Maybe this one I'll recap on this episode because it was not too clear on the previous episode. Tidak berapa jelas yang dulu. Okay, so here are the key points that we have to find. The first one is to who, just a quick recap about what and what to reply okay so here is the example task that we used uh, in the previous episode as well and then we found the three things to who about what and what to reply so and then we took out the key points we found out to who, which is Amy, about what, picnic with friends, and then this one is the one that I said just now, uh, which is how to answer the questions. Okay, quite simple. So if you see here, the words here, we just switch places. Where shall we go? We should go to the beach. You just switch places. Kasih terbalik, terbalikkan perkataan itu. Baru jawab soalan. Okay, so we have answered the questions. Okay, now we have all the key points that we need. So we should be able to write a full email reply. Okay, so after finding out what to reply, we are already getting five content marks if you write the correct, if you write it correctly in your essay, in your email reply. Okay, and now we have three things here, communicative achievement, organization, and language. This will be uh, seen in your essay. Okay, I think we can start writing now. So one thing that we have to take a look first is uh, in the question, below the question, uh, prepare, they will prepare you a writing space. Okay, so this is the writing space. It has two, it has subject, and then it has these blank spaces. Okay, so these blank spaces here. So, what do we do with the key points? We insert correctly into these blank spaces, into, in subject, and then in these space here. Okay, so what do we enter in the two space? which is to who, subject, we just take from about what, and then what to reply, we just take from the three uh, questions, the three questions that we got, and then we put the answers here. Kita letak jawaban di sini. Tapi kita tengok lepas ni bagaimana untuk tulis semua. 
Okay, so we just insert what we know for now. Okay, the first one, we insert to who. Okay, so this one, we are giving it to Amy. So you have to write it in email address form. Alamat email. Kalau tidak tahu apa-apa, macam mana alamat email, macam ni lah. Ada alias, at. If you don't know any uh, email domain, you can just say email.com. Or you can replace this with Google or Yahoo, up to you. As long as it looks like this. Okay. So next is about what? We just put in the picnic with friends. So that is our subject of the discussion. So we have these two things now. So what about the one in the middle? Macam mana kita isi ini? So what to do in the red box? Here we have a lot of space. What do we fill it with? Macam mana kita isi di sini? Okay, so in this uh, red box, we just fill in with three short paragraphs. Tiga perenggan pendek. Jadi macam mana kita buat, bagaimana kita buat perenggan pendek ini? Okay, let's start with paragraph one. Paragraph one, perenggan satu, kita buat introduction. Okay, introduction. How many sentences for introduction? Two is enough. If you have more, then up to you. But two is enough for this level. Okay? So sentence one. The first sentence, we just say hi. Here are some examples. Hi, Amy. Hello, Amy and whatever greetings that you know how to write okay so that is sentence one sentence two ayat kedua bagi perenggan satu kita cakap tentang say that you receive the email kamu bagi tahu yang kamu terima email itu okay so how do we do this you can use this one. I got your email about, and then you just say about what. We found this key point, so you just insert the key point here. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, completed paragraph. Okay, so here is the completed paragraph. Hi, Amy. I got your email about the picnic with friends. Full stop. Okay, so this is our introduction paragraph. That's it. Two sentences. One and two. So just two sentences for the first paragraph. Okay, so we move on to our second paragraph, which is the content. So this is where we write the what to reply answers. Okay, so we have written the answers for the what to reply. So all we have to do now is just put it in paragraph two. So how do we put in paragraph two? For one what to reply sentence, bagi setiap ayat what to reply, jawapan what to reply kamu, add one extra sentence, tambah lagi satu, Ayat tambahan. Okay. And then one important thing here is use sequence connectors. Penghubung kata atau idea. Okay, tidak apa kalau belum paham yang ini. Sequence connectors, kita tengok yang lebih jelas, yaitu we take a look at this table here. So each uh, sentence or collection of sentence, satu kumpulan ayat itu, 
kita kena ada sequence connectors. What to reply sentence? We have these already. Three things, three sentences. Kita sudah ada. And then the extra sentence. Okay. The extra sentence is you can say example. You can say reason. Extra information about the what to reply sentence. Okay. So why do we add sequence connectors? Kenapa kita tambah penghubung kata ini? Sebab dia akan bagi marka kepada organization marks. Marka hmm, penyusunan organisasi. Organization, penyusunan lah. Lebih teratur. Oke, okay? bukan organisasi. So, organization marks. Oke. Okay? So, let's take a look at the first sentence. So, how do we insert the sequence connectors? And what extra sentence can we add? Okay, so the first one, sequence connector, you can add either nothing, tidak perlu tambah, atau you can add first, atau you can add, add to begin with, atau you can add for starters. Jadi mana-mana saja kamu pilih, Nanti akan sambung dengan we should go to the beach. Nokta. And then, the extra sentence, kamu komen saja tentang ayat sebelum. Contohnya, cikgu tulis ini, the beach is beautiful and peaceful. Nokta. Cukup. Oke, okay, so we have uh, one what to reply sentence and then one extra sentence. The what to reply sentence kena tambah sequence connectors. Let's take a look at the second one here. How do we add the sequence connectors and what extra sentence can we add? So for the second one, you can add these sequence connectors. Choose either one. Pilihlah mana satu. If you use first, then here it should be second. But I didn't add here, so it's okay. You can use after that, other than that, also in addition. If you take a look here, the extra sentence, it's quite simple. Just to comment on the previous sentence. Ada comment sedikit saja. We can play volleyball or have a barbecue. And then you can just say, it will be fun. Okay. So that's for the second sentence. The third sentence for this uh, question, this essay, we can use the same thing, the same sequence connectors, sama juga, tapi jangan berulang. Kalau kamu sudah guna after that di sentence kedua ini, kamu gunalah sequence connectors yang lain pula. For example, if you use after that here, then use here also. Or other than that, or in addition. Okay. Here is another extra sentence. Quite simple. We need the items. Kita perlukan barangan itu. Nokta. Cukup. Jadi macam mana sudah? Jadi bagaimana uh, ayat ini akan ditulis dalam perenggan kedua? Keluar. Okay. So here is the second paragraph, perenggan kedua. Here is our first sentence, and then the extra sentence. We should go to the beach. The beach is beautiful and peaceful. Notice here I didn't add any because I chose not to for the first sentence. And then the second one, other than that. Okay, so the, for the second one, I added the sequence connector. 
other than that we should play volleyball or have a barbecue it will be fun okay i hope you can realize how easy this is now and then the third one we add also also we should bring towels sunblock and hats we need the items so if you manage to answer the what to reply questions and then you put it in the paragraph number two this will already give you five content marks okay for five content marks and then since you use sequence connectors ada guna penghubung kata you can also get five for organization okay for language it's up to you because it's about grammar and correct use of word tentang kata bahasa dan penggunaan perkataan yang betul so that's paragraph number two the contents now we move on to the last paragraph wait uh, this one is paragraph number two okay so for the last paragraph paragraph number three which is our closing paragraph perenggan penutup we can just write one or two sentence but here uh, it's better to write two a bit longer supaya lebih panjang sikit so what to write in the first sentence ayat pertama bagi perenggan ketiga ini you share your hopes kongsi apa yang kamu harapkan daripada uh, email yang kamu tulis ini atau apa yang kamu harapkan pada masa akan datang i hope this helps saya harap ini membantu boleh guna kalau email itu tentang kamu bagi satu nasihat ini boleh recycle i hope this helps saya harap ini membantu atau or we can use i hope we can meet soon saya harap kita boleh berjumpa dalam masa terdekat Okay, this can also be used in different uh, questions. Boleh digunakan di mana-mana soalan yang sesuai. And then, so that's for sentence one. For sentence two, you can just say your goodbyes. That's all. Goodbye. This one you can recycle in any uh, questions. Kamu boleh gunakan di mana-mana soalan. Jadi tinggal letak saja ini. Uh, tulislah ini dan oke okay Untuk ayat kedua. Oke. Okay. So here is the completed uh, reply. We have paragraph number one with the greetings hi amy and then you tell you got the email paragraph number two is about the content where you use sequence connectors guna penghubung kata tulis jawaban bagi soalan tanya what to reply and then add one extra sentence for each what to reply sentence Tambah satu ayat tambahan bagi setiap jawaban yang kamu balas daripada soalan-soalan yang kamu jumpa di email kawan kamu itu. And then, I hope we can meet soon. That's all goodbye. The one we discussed just now. So, one, two, three paragraphs. Quite short. Short paragraphs, but already complete. And then, don't forget to write your name at the left bottom left di sebelah kiri okay so this is the finished essay uh, for this essay 
Uh, I've counted the word count. This one is 58 words, but even though it doesn't reach 80 words, it still meets all the requirements for the essay. Dia sudah memenuhi semua kriteria yang soalan itu perlukan. Jadi tidak mustahil untuk ini mendapatkan marka 20 per 20. So this is the recap for the three short paragraphs. Okay, you can pause the video and take notes or you can just take pictures of this one. Okay, so now it's your turn, turn to try what we have learned today and in the previous episode. So here is the question that you tried out in the previous episode. You have found the to who, about what, and what to reply. So from that, you can start writing based on using the methods that I have taught you just now. Boleh guna cara yang telah cikgu ajar. Okay. So this is just a quick review what we have learned for writing an, an email reply. You have to find key points, fill in the to and subject correctly, and then write three short paragraphs. And then at the bottom here, you can add, uh, don't forget to write your name. Okay, so I think that's it for part one of paper two for the new SPM 2021 format, which is about email writing. In the next episode, maybe we'll discuss about other parts of the paper two, or maybe about other papers, but we'll see. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this is beneficial to you. I hope this helps you. And I'll we'll see you. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.